it's a beautiful day today and you're always a bit worried when it's a beautiful day because you worry, worry that people aren't going to want to come to the show because it's they don't want to be inside a dark room but we had a really nice audience and it was a really good mix of um, film and uh, music seeing that documentary really made me feel that it was a good idea because um, it shouldn't just be restricted to a month, it should be a year-round thing, and I know that's what the Albany is really, really wants to try and do, make it a year-round series of events um, and screening opportunities. I mean, we have a, another main fund as well, which is open for six months of the year, so filmmakers should really feel that they can apply to that too, not just the summer-long one. My name is Elizabeth Mitchell. I am the Lewisham Film Officer. I run the Lewisham Film Initiative, which is uh, set up for filmmakers in the borough and also film-loving audiences. I set up the Black History Month short film challenge four years ago and have just this year partnered up with Paul at the Albany to make it a more, well, a bigger event. Well, I work for a charity, the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, and I came last year to an event during Black History season. I really like it because I think it's really interesting to be able to come and watch something different and hear people's voices that you don't hear all the time. And um, whenever I come down here and watch documentaries, you always leave, you know, you've learned something and you leave thinking about something new and hearing someone else's voice and opinion on issues that you might not think about normally. So I think it's really, really worthwhile and I'll definitely come again. Um, my name is Nosa Igmanadian. I run a video production company called Lucid Visuals with my partner Shola Mu. Um, and we make movies, music videos and documentaries. We've got a movie showing tonight on the Urban Screen Festival called The Hydra. So my name is Shola Amo, um, co-director of the film The Hydra. To shine today as part of the urban screen screen. Well, we've got two big changes. One is our budget's gone, and two is our ambitions have gone. So you can imagine what we're trying to do. We're trying to do more on less money. So we're partnering up with um, the Heritage and Archive Service. So it's all about black history. So this enables people to go to the archives for free uh, and get an exclusive look at some of the borough's sort of most precious artifacts basically um, and have those as uh, inspiration for the, for the film projects this year. Uh, in October during Black History Month we're also going to get some industry experts so some high profile filmmakers um, to mentor the filmmakers this year, the local filmmakers, so that's pretty cool. I think it was really good, I just, I just screened my short film tight jeans, there were a few moments that were like, because uh, I don't know, you never really get used to screening your work, but people seem to like it, so um, I really enjoyed today, it's been really, it's been really fun. I think there's an audience there, there's a market there, and I mean, people are always going to come if you've got something interesting to say, something new to say, if you're being truthful, so I think, yeah, definite audience. No, one thing... I think there should be more of this, but one thing I would say is I think it should be promoted a lot more um, so that the young, the youth, you know, 16, 17 years old, they know about it because I know about it, but I'm into film. The people who are not really in this industry who are interested should have the opportunity to come down and experience this. Visit lewishamfilminitiative.co.uk and see everything that your borough has to offer.